In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply a fraction by a fraction, and then how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. And we're actually going to take a look at a visual representation of each of those. Let's start with 3 fourths times 2 thirds. Now, it's really hard to conceptualize what this means, but it's actually saying 3 fourths groups of 2 thirds. Here's what it looks like when we represent it. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start by representing this as 3 fourths. So I'm going to break this into four equal pieces, and I'm going to shade in three of them. And I'm going to shade in the 3 fourths red, so I'll put a red box around this. So 3 fourths will be shaded in red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find two-thirds of that area, two-thirds of that three-fourths. So I made the last lines vertically. I'm going to split these vertical lines now into two-thirds horizontally, or into thirds rather, and then I'm going to shade in two-thirds horizontally. And actually what I'll do is I'll continue that across because that's important as well. Now the question that we're trying to ask is what fraction of the total shape has both shaded? And I could see here if I count that I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six twelfths total is shaded with both colors overlapped with both colors. That is how multiplying fractions works and that is what it looks like. You're going to try to identify what the overlap is. So a quicker way to do that is to just multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator to get your answer that way. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12. You'll get the same answer, but it's important to know what it looks like. Now 5 times 1 half is pretty similar. We're going to go ahead and this time we're going to have 5 groups of 1 half. So I'm going to draw 5 circles and in each of those circles we're going to shade in 1 half. So there are my 5 circles. That's actually probably more like a half there. 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, and 1 half. And the question is, what is the total number shaded? Well I could count I have three, four, five pieces shaded, and all of my circles are still broken into two, so my denominator remains five halves. A simple way to do this is you multiply whole number times numerator, five times one, and the denominator stays the same for your answer.